Read the questions. We'll go right over here. On what floor did Betty finish their mail run? Sounds good. So right here. On what floor did Betty finish their mail run? So what I'm gonna write down here is, hey, uh, Betty finished on the blank floor, right? So again, I don't need to read all of this up here to understand what I'm trying to find. Start with the question, give yourself a chance to orient yourself to the solution. What floor did Betty finish on? So my part of people, does that make sense before I continue? Again, I don't wanna leave anybody behind here. Does that make sense? We want to know what floor Betty finishes on. Do I know what Betty's doing? No, she's trying to get a workout, doing some Stairmaster. I don't know, I don't care. I just know that she's doing something in a building, going through floors, and she finishes on a certain floor. That's all I know. I want to find out what that floor is. Now let's take in the information and see what we can do. So we'll go ahead and grab our trusty old laser pointer and we'll say, hey, look, Betty works in a corporate building delivering packages to recipients on different floors. Now we have a little bit of context. This is what Betty does. Betty is a courier in a building. Sounds good. So starting from level 95, she goes down 19 floors, down seven floors, down. I'm not even going to read the numbers anymore. Remember guys, don't, don't torture yourselves by trying to make sense of the numbers before you know what the numbers mean or trying to wrap your heads around the number. It's about what the numbers mean. So this is how I would actually prefer that you read it. You can say, hey, look, she started from this floor and you can imagine that she starts from this floor. She goes down, 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 and then up. What floor did she finish on? Okay, cool. So this is how I'm gonna present it. Starts at level 95, right over here. Starts on level 95. And then when we see that it says she goes down 19, how do you guys want to treat that? Naturally, what are you thinking? From 95, do we add 19, subtract 19? Which way do we go if we're going down 19 floors? Right, naturally our inclination is going to be to subtract. So go ahead, play off of that. That's totally fine. So I can say, hey, goes down 19 floors. I'll say down 19. Then I see down seven floors, so I'll subtract seven. Down three floors, so I'll subtract three. And then we see that it says up 12 floors, so I'll add 12. And there it is. That's the solution, that's the connection. What do we want? We wanna know where Betty finishes. What do we know? We know where she starts and we know what she does. So follow the plan and we'll figure out where she finishes the mail room. This question could be different because I could be telling you where she ended at and you gotta work backwards. So with that, let's go ahead and figure this out here. So we can go ahead and say, hey, 95 minus 19, then minus seven, then minus three, then plus 12. You can absolutely do that. But my part of people, there is a different way that you can do this to give yourself a better shot of success. And it's by just understanding how to kind of group numbers together. Because not everybody is equipped to, to figure out what minus 19 is, minus seven to minus three. Instead, you can just say this. You can go ahead and say, hey, look, well, uh, if I went ahead and said seven minus three, that's minus 10. If I'm subtracting 10, then adding two, well, or adding 12, that's the same thing as adding two. You can mess around with the numbers if you'd like to, is what I'm trying to tell you. So either way though, I'll just go through it the straightforward way because I don't want to mess around with all these numbers, confuse people in different ways. We'll just say, hey, look, 95 minus 19, everybody, what's that gonna be? Hit me. Yeah, that's another way to do it, Chris Lane. Good input there, good input there. Let's start off with a 95 minus 19 though. What's that gonna be everybody? Again, the multiple ways to do this. Yeah, that's gonna be 76. Then when we subtract the seven, what's that gonna be? 76 minus seven is gonna be 69. Then when we subtract the three, what's 69 minus three? 66. Then 66 plus 12, what's that gonna give us? 
Yep, 78. So we can just say end on 78th floor. We can say it just like that if we wanted to. Again, we could have messed around with the numbers a little bit. I could have said, hey, look, I'll combine the minus 19 and the plus 12. So that's going to be another minus 7, minus 14, minus 17. So 95 minus 17, that'll be okay. 85, then minus 7 is 78. So again, a million different ways you could have done this with mental math or by just going ahead, plowing through those numbers nice and easy. Regardless though, our correct answer is A, 78. And on the off chance that you didn't know, we have a free class actually once a week. We have three classes total, but I would love to have you in at least the free class. That way I can give you that momentum, that confidence to continue raising your score. I'm Coach Anderson, go ahead and text next free class to 833-321-0182 and we'll reply as soon as we can with all the information letting you know where to go to ace the asbag i'll see you there